Today guys I'm going to take a look at this Kamenga, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Model 27 Phosphorescent Lens Static Compass. And you can freeze this frame to read this. Now you do get an instruction booklet with this on the use of the compass. You also get this nylon pouch, which I'm not sure why it's like this on the side. You'd think it would be a belt clip going this way, unless this is a strap to put on something that, like a shoulder strap or something, possibly. And you also get this lanyard. So I'm kind of looking for a compass that I can use uh, when setting up my equatorial mount at a location that's unknown to me and also uh, for doing daytime alignment. And so <clears throat> I thought I would give this one a try. And uh, they make one apparently, I bought this at Bass Pro. Uh, they make another one that they also had there that had like I believe a light that came on and that's just not something that I require there's no need for that if I need to see it I can have a little flashlight that I always have with me anyway so this is the one that I ended up uh, determining that I would give a try the cost was $79.99 plus tax so one of the things that had that I liked is it has a straight edge so you can use that as a datum point when you're lining things up if it was round, you know, this way I can line a straight edge up with the flat base of my mount. So that I liked. Now I'm not going to go over all the features of this compass because that's not what this is about. Being that it's, it's I'm using it in such a strict, focused, uh, for one thing only and nothing else. So as far as the needs that I have then we'll be talking about that strictly for alignment of a equatorial mount now after I bought it I did go looking at certain reviews at various places and because uh, I know that this brand was recommended by the astrophysics group by several people that they've used but one of the things I saw after I bought it was that this dial here you see in black apparently used to be brass now it's plastic so you know that's not something I like um, this is an old God, I've had this thing for I don't know I couldn't even tell you how long this compass of course and it, it, it it's I don't think I paid much for it way back when and it still has brass so wasn't real happy about that if you're going to make something, you're supposed to be a uh, higher-end manufacturer with a better product. Just instead of making it cheaper, just charge a higher price. I guess I, to me, that that's just my philosophy. Don't don't cheapen something up. Now here's another thing I found out after I bought it. This has uh, this tab back here that you see here it has a little uh, has has a little thing on it sticks out, and you'll notice these ribs. Well instead of being every degree which my cheap compass that I just showed is I find out that every click stop that you hear here is three degrees which is useless to me for what I want because my declination is um, seven degrees west so I want to make sure that I could go seven clicks and be at seven degrees west but with this uh, you can't you, you know you you because with this this dial up here to offset it you can't you can't do that because you can't get to seven be three six nine in it and and so on so I did not like that at all that was that made this thing useless to me so this may or may not be something that, that you're going to worry about. And if it isn't, 
but for somebody that wants to use it for the alignment of an equatorial mount this may be of a concern that's why I'm pointing that out now one of the things it says here built to last with an aluminum frame and waterproof housing now before I return this because I'm not keeping it it's useless to me I'm gonna check to see if that is indeed indeed waterproof all right I've got a bucket of water here let's put it in there and see what happens And it does appear to be waterproof. I don't see anything inside as I wipe the lens off. Yep, looks like it's good. So it is waterproof if I guess if you're fall into a river or gets caught out in a heavy rain pour. Don't see anything inside of it.